go. Welcome in, welcome in. Another beautiful day, another beautiful show. This is episode six of the home, or I'm sorry, the pre pre pod. I'm already, I'm already screwing it up. This is why you shouldn't give me the intros. Um, Shameful. This is a big episode. Obviously, you got myself, Mr. Caleb Boston, co host, co commissioner, Blake Brooks over there. How you doing tonight, sir? Great. Actually, great. I'm on vacation. Don't have to work this whole week. This is what I get to look forward to. This is a great a thing time. to look forward to. Great thing to look forward to. Um, but we have a very, very, very special guest. We've been trying to get this guy since we started this. Even when this was in the talks of the podcast, we were like, this has got to be our first guest. Ladies yeah, and gentlemen, like- today with us, we have the 2017 champion of the Homeboys League, Mr. Garrett Goebel. Ooh. Thank you. Thank you for that introduction. That is, thank you for having me. A cheers to the boys. A cheers. Cheers. Huzzah. What a variety. It's an break. honor to be here. Oh, a tasty white wine. Well, welcome. Wine. Welcome, Garrett Goble. You're looking quite astute today. Yeah, you just had to show us up. It's fine. I know I look good. I don't need you guys to tell me I look good. <laughs> Let me clean my glasses off here so I can see better. I can't see a dang thing out of these, hardly. Well, Garrett, any words before we dive in to this cast? Oh, hold on. Let me go get something real quick. Um, it's a good thing we mark these as not appropriate for children. Yep. Yeah, it is. Dang, man, that was some cake I'm never going to (laughs) unsee. Viewers going to love that. Oh, yeah. I know it gets the clicks. (laughs) Well. They set the thumbnail this time. (laughs) Screenshot it? I actually just I think you should. Just might. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, we have a little special start here because there was some drama week one between Garrett and Grayson's team. So if you if you go back to the week two or week one recap, you will see that Garrett and Grayson's score, as you see on the screen now, the same game, it was 120 to 120. And – I think it was Tuesday morning. I get a text from Garrett saying some explicitives of what <laughs> happened to his score. And I didn't know what I to expect, but I logged in and lo and behold, the score changed and there's no stat correction to be found nowhere. It just gave Kyler Murray one more point. So I, I said yeah. a lot of things. I said a lot of things that morning, a lot of hurtful things. And I want to take this moment to um, apologize for absolutely fucking nothing because that was bullshit what happened to me. That was bullshit what you guys did. I know what you did. You took a win away from me, and I'm never going to forgive you. Well, as the co-commissioners, there's nothing to be done. Literally, I didn't even know about it. And Blake texted me, I guess, probably pretty shortly after you text him and he realized it. And he texted me and he was like, bro, look at Garrett's score or something like that. And I check it. And the first thing I did was send in the group text, the group me. I had nothing to do with it because I absolutely <laughs> had nothing to do with it. Well, we know how these things go for the commissioners, Caleb. It's always our yeah. fault when it's not. Always. I will say that is I represent pretty... the people. Yeah, that's a pretty shitty thing. Like, I, there's no there's no stat correction to explain why Kyler got an extra point. I don't know where it came from. Has there been anything put in there yet? I, I don't even, think I so. I did I did some research, and I believe it was certain apps not counting, uh, like a a run that he had that was for over ten yards. Um, that's kind of annoying. It it it's annoying. I. I'll accept the loss. It sucks, though. But well, what are you gonna do? It's just you, your team gets to fight adversity. You know, you get to come up from the bottom. I'm just building your story for the season. 
But you won this next week with a arousing, strong victory. Yeah. We just went over it. Yeah, if you I, I, if you view our video that was posted a few minutes ago. Well. Comment comment and subscribe. <laughs> Smash that like button. Smash that like button. Slap that subscribe button. Hmm. Yeah, uh, 177 points, Garrett. That's pretty impressive. I mean, the thing Garrett or Caleb me said was you and Austin alone would have beaten anybody else this week. And I think if I were Austin, I'd have been very sad because I just played the guy that got the most points in the week, you know? Well, that that was kind of my goal going into the week was to um, make Austin really sad. <laughs> It really kind of happened to a worse guy. I hate him, and he knows what he did. So, yeah, he's a pretty awful person, awful father. He's... <laughs> Whoa, I will not stand for that slander. Oh, <laughs> you he has, a, he has a family. Awful father. Just kidding, Austin. We love you. Hopefully, that made you laugh when you watch this. Hopefully you're still listening to this crap. He just turns it off. I turned it off the moment Garrett said he's an awful father. <laughs> I didn't say it. Yeah, Garrett said it. Garrett said it. <laughs> Run it back. Run the tape back. <laughs> but yeah, uh, congrats on the victory, fellow Victor. Another cheers in order. Dink him. Oh, sorry, Caleb. That's the winner. You're just going like to do that to me right now. Hold on, hold on. Blake. Not only are we victors, we are both former champions as well. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I muted Caleb. I don't know if he can actually hear me. Oh, he can All hear right, me. All right, champion corner. Woo! Oh, no. I can also can't. unmute myself. Oh, I was like, I can't oh, unmute him. I was glad he could mute him. <laughs> I was like, I can't unmute him. I've, I've done goofed. I'm anyway. glad you can unmute yourself, Caleb, because I was like, we're going to have to restart this whole video. That would have been great. Well, we couldn't restart the video. You'd have had to fix it all live. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. Well, with that blunder, uh, let's dive in, boys. Dive into week three. Obviously, if you think we edit any videos, we don't because we don't freaking know how. So there you go. When, when, we're, when we're big and famous. We still we'll, won't edit them. Yeah. We'll fix it in post. All right. All right. Uh, yeah, so this is a matchup of these are the worst. Caleb and myself. Uh, the projections are a little skewed due to Caleb not having a quarterback or tight end. Yeah, my quarterback died last week. RIP Trey. His tight end does not have a catch. The hat salute. You'll always remember. My own tight end, Cole Komet, who's a bum. I didn't have a catch in two whole games, so I went ahead and just dropped him. There's no need for that on my roster. I know who I'm picking up this week. Taken. I would like to say that I see it has the advantage check marks, and I have one of them. Sutton, maybe. Yeah. Sutton, now, maybe. I will say if Jerry Judy's still out, Cortland Sutton's a big – he was, was catching a lot of balls. What's that face for, Garrett? As a Broncos fan, give us your take. Dude, he's going to play. God damn it. Is he? I, need I, him. I don't care if he plays or not. I need him playing Sutton. There's no doubt. Sutton's good, dude. Who do they play this week? San Francisco. That's, might be a good game. Yeah. yeah. San, yeah. San Fran's got a thick defense, but. San Fran just got an upgrade at QB, so they should be a pretty tough opponent, actually. Opponent, actually. Yeah. Oh, did they? I didn't notice. Yeah, so let's let's like let's play this as as Caleb having a QB in. So since this is going in post waiver, you yeah. have some targets, correct, Caleb? Yeah, I'm throwing some money down on uh, Tua. A and, great uh, pickup. I'm gonna also backup plan throw a bit on Mariota. Um, how much, if you mind to tell me and Garrett? 
Uh, I currently have it set. I have, I think, six on Mariota, and I have like 26 on Tua. I might up that, though, because I'm really afraid someone's going to overbid me, and I need a quarterback. It would be a shame if Garrett or me put 27. I'm probably going to bid $45 on Tua just so I could have a fourth quarterback on my team. I will be honest. If either one of you outbid me for Tua, I will quit the podcast. So that would probably incline Garrett to do it more. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think, yeah. No, so I've been listening to the media. I've got a chip on my shoulder. I think Tua is a good pickup. I, I don't like facing Tua. That makes me a little nervous. I, That's crazy to say. Like, just thinking last year, like, Tua, I was like, it's a joke. But there's no no guarantee I get to it. I would say I I probably for sure get Mariota just because I don't think anyone else is looking to pick up a quarterback really. Uh, Tua is up in the air. I don't know. Well, that makes an interesting. Tua is a points machine. Yeah, and that, yeah. if you get Mariota, that makes an interesting situation for a matchup because I have Cordero, who has old man Cordero. He followed up his great Week One performance with a real shitter stinker. He's old, dude. He can't like. He used all his energy week one. And, yeah, um, I'd say if you get a tight end, you probably get – he's going to be projected eight. So, I mean, uh, yeah. eight or nine. Somewhere in there. So, I'd say your <laughs> projection is going to be around 100. That is – It's going to be lower than yours. That is significantly – that's actually wild. I'm also – I'm targeting another defense. And, I was going to uh, say, if you don't change your defense, else. it's questionable, but – I had I thought you would. I'm not playing Buffalo. I'm not playing my defense against Buffalo. That's stupid. Realistically, my team it uh, I don't know. I don't even know what to say about them anymore. Like after last week's showing, they got a lot to prove to stay on this roster because we don't put up with that crap for very long. Yeah, Caleb. There's not really a lot I could say that's positive about your team. Yeah, it's kind of scary. I I think Pittman Jr. is still a great player. He didn't play last week. He was hurt. I'm hoping he plays this week. So that does that does help. And yeah, I think C D Lamb, C D Lamb is not played up to what he's supposed to be. He he had no, he had 14 last week, which wasn't bad. Cooper Rush targeted him a good amount. So that's Yeah, but good. that Giants defense, he's gonna be shut doesn't down. Doesn't scare me one bit. Doesn't scare me at all. Have you thought about a new team name at all, Caleb? I know I need one. I just, you know, haven't haven't came up with that yet. We're, we're going to see who we uh, pick up here. If you get to a, I am a member of two and on and um, I'm, a, I'm a believer. A believer. Yeah. I think, um, Oh, this is so much worse. Sorry. I'm changing things. Yeah. I but think I mean, looking at, looking at Blake's team over here, I'm going to go out. I'm going to stand tall on my own. Like I've been doing every episode and being wrong most of the time except for in one case. Uh, Lamar Jackson will not – he will score 15 or less this week. He plays I, the pack. You willing to – They're not a good. A friendly they wager? Low. What's the friendly wager? I don't know. A handshake? You have, to drive, you have to drive to Evansville, <laughs> drive to the winner. shake my hand, and then drive back. No, I'm not going to do that. That's a lot of gas money. Gas is high. Don't we have a friendly wager on who gets more of these right this year anyway? Like, like, like a $20 bet or something like that? I think we do. I think we do. I'd have to go watch episode one. Like, like comment, subscribe. Subscribe. Episode one, please. Had to plug it. Just got a really close up of Blake's face. Anyway, to continue on with your team, uh, old man, old man Patterson does not scare me one bit. That man's gonna be limping. He scares me a little bit. So I know. I don't know, Gary. What you, Gary, what do you think? Mike Williams is he gonna have a week one showing or a week two showing? Or a collab? Um, I hope Mike Williams um, does really bad. Actually, I. So I'm going to follow my heart and say that he's going to do dog shit. See. Now, what do you think about Mr. Albert Okubabum? Uh, Albert, Albert, non-biased as I can be. (laughs) 
I think he scores conservatively 75 points. Okay, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I <laughs> sure <laughs> hope so. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep the Browns defense as well. I think I just think that Pittsburgh is just not good. They're just hey, not. You're not great. They're just not. And I mean, I'm going to have the old Gabe Davis train issue again. You know how sad it is to look at my team called 50 Shades of Trey and not have Trey Lance? It sure is a conundrum you're having. But you know, the nice thing is we have a system that you can get another one. Well, Caleb, hold on. I think you you should just name your team after another good player on your team. Let me just see. Oh, there's no other good players on your team. <laughs> all I got out of that was you're saying that Trey was a great player. That's why I named my team after him. That's all I heard. I, I blocked out the rest of that. Benny's making his appearance. Sorry. Benny. <laughs> okay, well. Whatever. With no further ado, I've got to go with myself here. Yeah, Sorry. I'm going with myself. That's pretty obvious. So, Garrett, what the special guest pick? What are you? Who are you taking in this battle? All right. So, you guys have done. You guys have been pretty good, pretty accurate with your picks so far. Uh, pretty good percentage, right? So, I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna use my special system to pick the winner that I think might even do better than your guys's. I'm gonna flip a coin. <laughs> I call heads. And Caleb. Caleb is going to be the winner this week for sure. Caleb no by 100 points. Mark that down. 100. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, there you go. Garrett, Sorry, and, Garrett and Caleb on the Caleb train. Sorry, sorry, Blake. That's uh, my patented uh, algorithm picked uh, Caleb to win this week. If it's never driven you wrong, it won't drive you wrong now. Well, we'll see you whenever after 10 o'clock tomorrow. You know, we'll see how Mr. 50 Shades of Trey is looking. Yeah. Well, I have to be at work. So it'll be a little bit after that when I actually, you know, plug in players. But yeah, let's see. Okay. Okay. Grayson and Austin's a matchup here. Uh, I'd like to mention it again. Grayson, <sighs> Grayson, please change your name. Or at least, at least do me this favor. Comment on the video and explain your name because I don't know it. I think I some of the people D &D that reference. Yeah, it I is a D, &D, D reference. D &D thing, but I need a full paragraph description of why it's CT software. We could fill you in. It's pretty gory and graphic. That's not appropriate for this podcast. No one needs to hear that. Um <laughs> what about Austin's team name? My his, RD got shot. Actually, he's, you're right. He's claiming that his running back got shot, but I don't see any shot running back in his starting line lineup. That is a falsity. <laughs> Live in action. Austin, Give me a sec. Austin, a bad team namer? Bad father? Question mark? What's next? <laughs> What's next? Austin Sus? Sussy Austin? I know I left the room for a second. Did I just hear you call him a bad father for the second time on this show? Garrett Blake did. said it. It was crazy. Oh, man. <laughs> <Dad. laughs> He's never going to watch this show again. We may never have a guest again. I, this is ridiculous. Yeah, the guests are just destroying the poor man. Um. Okay, well, looking at Grayson's team, I mean, Kyler Murray's – that man made me nervous. He got him within striking distance of my team last week. Uh, Leonard Fournette had a bad week last week. The whole Tampa Bay team did. James, James Connors hurt, as we have come to expect. Jamar Chase a dice roll. I don't know. Christian Kirk a dice roll. I I like Christian Kirk. I have him on a few of my other teams, and but it is a Jaguars team, so you never know what you're gonna get. How did I lose to this fucking guy? Jesus <laughs> Christ. Um, panning over to Austin's team. Oh, before I move over that way, uh, DK Metcalf still on the bench. 
Who said it first? Me? What? I don't even see the bench. I don't even know where the bench players are at for these guys. I don't know. Oh, wait, there's a button. Bang. DK Metcalf still on the bench. Not saying I told you so, but I told you so. Is Kittle going to play this week? Anybody know? I think Kittle's just done. Just dead. Um, Austin's team, however, Jalen Hurts. I, I want him. DeAndre Swift, I want him. Stephon Diggs, I want him. Skipped over AJ Dillon there. Don't want him as bad. Take care of this. Kyle I Pitts, I did want him, but man, he sure is not doing a good job. Yeah, Garrett, that that was your your trade there. You definitely Fleece lost. Him. You definitely lost Fleece one, him. but it's looking more and more like. I will say, got... Edwards Alaire has had two very good games. Yes. Yeah, I I drafted him, and then you guys, everyone was like, "Oh my god, he's gonna be terrible!" And I I thought he I was, and he sure has done him. good. A good job. I listen to the haters, and that's the last time that happens. Well, but, to be fair, I don't think I don't think Austin has started him either week. He's also listened to the haters, which is stupid. Well, he's at least in his bench spot right now. Yeah. Um, the Kyle Pitts trade's looking good for Garrett. Uh, Allen Robinson finally has week, but we can get to that when we're on Garrett's team. So. Uh, um, CTCs probably needs to look at a new defense for the week, just not to bounce back yes. to them. But no, we can bounce back all you want. I think I'm with you. I think both of these guys need new defenses. To be honest, uh, the Broncos playing in San Francisco. I don't think. I think that'll probably be a. I guess San Francisco is like, not a high offensive team, are they? Yeah, that game will be like a 13 to 20 game, probably. So I don't think that's a bad defense to play. Yeah, I, I think mean, that I think the Broncos, the fantasy Broncos defense scores eight eight or nine points this week. That's an honest take from an honest fine. Broncos fan. I think it's fine. Yeah. Uh, I think not everyone can score thirty like my defense. That was very impressive. I think I'm gonna go with Austin this week. I just I think Austin's team is great, and I'm scared of it. And, yeah, that's my only reasoning. I, I'm i pretty sure I said I would not pick Grayson until he changed his name. But Fair I think enough. I lied. I think I'm going to pick him. I, I think Grayson's taking this one. I don't know why. I just got a feeling. Uh-oh. Some dis, some dissonance. I think, I think this um, is – that Jamar Chase versus the Jets, I think this is one of those big Jamar Chase weeks. So They could run it up, though, and then not throw it. That's a Joe Mixon game. I don't know. Looking at Grayson's team, I don't know how I lost to this guy. He's, he's got a team full of scrubs. He's got a scrub team name. Well, I, Austin's, I know team, Austin's team is actually really scary. This is going to – I think Austin – pretty dang it. Grayson wins. Grayson wins the thing. Grayson by 100. Well, you just, so you're on the Grayson train, Garrett? Well, I flipped a coin, and the coin told me to pick Grayson. You didn't sound very confident in your coin. But yeah, we're gonna think. <laughs> he's got a system. Don't question it. Got a system. All right. Well, I'm alone on my two guesses, so we could I could pull away from you boys this week. Um, all right. Like Without further ado, the guest himself and Steve. Another close projected game, but I've learned projections mean absolutely nothing this every single year. This is a interesting game. <clears throat> I know Garrett's a little biased on Russell Wilson, but man, he sure is, is that, not looking good. Hold on, Garrett, you're starting Kamara. Uh, oh, I put him in because he was projected sixteen. <laughs> You projected. What is he 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 boost, Pump those he numbers my up. projection, so it's good for the fucking video, bro. Oh, and then you're gonna pull him out because you're smarter than that. No, I'm gonna play him for sure. I just yeah, in the last episode, I just said you are one and zero with him not in your starting lineup. I would like to make that a fact. That is known. That's that's neither here nor there. 
Well, we can go. We can deep dive. Um, I I pick Steve because Garrett's starting tomorrow. That, that's all it takes for me. <laughs> okay. That's well, I'm gonna Even I'm gonna look into this a little bit more. Russell Wilson's gonna score uh, fifty points this week. Easy. Probably. Probably um, about four four touchdowns to Sutton. I'm I'm gonna start on Garrett's side. I hope so. Josh Allen's just been great. And he's playing Miami, so that could be a shootout, as we saw last week. Um, yeah, yeah, Josh Allen realistically could could get fifty. He could get like another thirty burger. Oh, oh for sure. Uh, I Alvin Kamara, I just he hasn't proven anything this year, and I don't know, but I don't think Garrett's gonna keep him in personally. <laughs> James Robinson, I oh, like. <laughs> I like James Robinson a lot. I think I think he's keeping that. Like starting job barely, and they're the only good. time to use ETN is because like I feel like it's, he's he's good, but James Robinson's also good. So James whatever. Robinson owns that spot right now. Yeah, and Garrett got him for a steal. Um, I think I think the draft recap I said Garrett won that round because I really liked him. I don't recall. I know I didn't say you won it. I watched that, and you said I didn't win a fucking round, you pieces of shit, and I'm not going to forget it. I know I said you lost the first round. I don't remember after that. Okay, I did say Caleb won round 11 for picking Trey Lance, and I kind of want to take it back. (laughs) Man, we're going to have to do a full recap of that. Um (laughs) <laughs> the end of the year, just to we, see. We definitely so, are. Wow, that is sad. Um, I so I obviously said I won that round. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Yeah, well, that'll be a week eighteen recap. Um. Anyway, moving down the list here. Tyler Lockett. I. I'm just a Seahawks hater. Um, oh. Oh no. Well, gonna have to learn. Let me let me let me put a hold on. Put a put a pin in that, boys. Put a pin in it. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, get oh, oh Garrett. Oh, what the hell, dude? <laughs> 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 you warned me for Jesus Christ. Damn, Caleb. Oh my God, Caleb. I told you all I was sick. <laughs> Just blew like a big old All right, I'm going to have to note the time in the video. 27 minutes and 40 seconds. Uh, fast forward to that whenever. <laughs> or maybe like 30 seconds. 27 minutes and 30 seconds. Oh, it's rough out here, man. You I sneeze? just saw it dangling out of your nose. Yeah, I like laughed too hard and just <laughs> snot. What are you going to do about it? It's gross. Okay, well, sorry about that. Channel. It's so hot in this hat. A uh, little technical difficulties. We don't want to pay for extended videos, but not until we get more subscribers. Yeah. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Um, I, I think we're we still were still on Garrett. Tyler Rocket. Yeah, we were. We were talking about Lockett, and uh, I think Blake was about to bash on him. Probably. I was just gonna say he's on Seahawks, so you know how that goes. But Tyreek Hill is going to make up for Tyler Lockett. So, also Gino might be a bad guy, but he might be a wagon though. Cake. Um. Yeah, I mean Tyler Higby also is good. I like Tyler Higby. Uh, Allen Robinson's finally doing well. You reap the benefits of the trade. Um, yeah, once he's not playing the best team in the league, he does all right. Um, I'm, I kind of skipped down. I'm sorry. I was looking at your bench, Garrett. Garrett, what are you, what are you feeling with Thielen right now, man? You got him on your bench still. I don't know, dude. I, that might be my, other than my auto draft of Trevor Lawrence, that might be my worst pick of the draft. Yeah. He's, Thielen's uh, he's not doing much. Like, yeah. Expecting him to do a lot better. He's this not been showing up. I don't know. Maybe Kirk Cousins just doesn't like white guys, I guess. Her cousin's racist? You heard it here first? Her cousin's racist? Canceled? Question mark? Cops called? 
Uh, did we? Man, that that break really threw me off. Steve's team, though. Yeah, I. I'm just looking at Steve's team, and the only person I like on it is Devonte Adams and Rashad Bateman. To be honest. Yet he's two and zero. Oh. Yet yeah. yeah. Devonte Adams two and zero. Oh. Really good. The Bills defense. The Bills defense. Okay, yeah. Pick. Well, but but Tua. Yeah, I was gonna say Miami's not bad. I think that'd be a really good game. I'm glad they well, played Tua, there. If someone, I mean, they have two of the best wide, like Waddle and they have Waddle, right? Miami. Yeah. Yeah, Waddell. they have Waddle and Hill. That's just. Or is it Waddell? Great duo. It's Waddle. Waddell? Is that what it is? No, Blake is convinced it's Waddell or what? What? Whatever. It's Waddle. Why does he do this dance? This. He waddles. He's, he's Waddell. <laughs> he's Waddell. <laughs> um. I'm going to say confidently, this is my unofficial pick. I haven't officially picked, but confidently I'm going to destroy Kay- I'm going to destroy uh, Steve. I uh, did you flip a coin? I, well, that's – I haven't done my – I haven't run the official numbers, but first glance I'm going to destroy him. Um, I don't even think we deserve to be on the same, like, level, you know. My team is, like – I'm playing at a professional level. Steve's playing at, like – D2 college level right now. It's, I've, I've backed uh, Steve a lot this year, but he is a two-time champ. I mean. <laughs> that's in the past, baby. That's in the past. But also, I'm 2017 <laughs> champ. I'm so much better than everyone else. <laughs> 2014 uh, champ. Thank you. I know. I know. Yeah. Yeah. 2014, 2017, uh, 2022 probably here. I don't know. But anyway. Never. I know I said I'm going to pick Steve because Garrett is starting tomorrow. I am actually going to pick Steve only because your team did so good last week, Garrett, that I feel like they might – at least one or two players are going to kind of shit the bed this week. Are you telling me? And on the flip of that, that Steve's team did so bad, he's got to have an up week. I fully expect 29 points from my defense week in and week out. Every right week. It, it's fair. It cannot fail. They got Tom Brady's bitching at him on the sidelines, throwing iPads at him. I got Tyree Kill. I expect 44 points from him. Week in and week out. Kamara. He's averaging, I think, three points a game right now. So <laughs> it can't get worse than that. That's true. Is Blake just kneeling over here on this podcast? What the fuck's going on? What is this show we're running here? I can hear you crunching. Fucking unprofessional. <laughs> Baked lays. I don't Greatest chip. Is. Greatest chip. Garrett, quote me on it. It's not the best, but it's like top five for sure. Um, I'm done with him. So, yes. Uh, Garrett Goebel is going to win this game. There's no doubt about it. He's not going to play Alvin Kamara, so he's going to win. I am gonna play Alvin Kamara. Um, I retract my statement. I'm just kidding. I'm just no. I'm, I want your I want your support, please. I think Garrett's gonna win. I I'm so upset I lost to Steven. Thank you, Ellen, for your validation. But just no one on his team besides Devonta Adams. Like, I don't see. I see it. I'm like, none of these guys scare me. Well. Steven's team's actually like he might be the worst team in the league. It's garbage. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna go to my official pick and shit. So Steve's gonna win. Steve, <laughs> Steve is the winner of this week. He's gonna beat. He's gonna kick my ass. Mark it down. Bet the house on that. Steve wins by sixty nine points. All right. Well, uh, that makes. You guys all agreed on three out of three, and me by myself on three out of three. I respect the fact that you stick with your guns there, Garrett. Yeah, you guys have a worse hit rate than the Obama drone strikes. That's upsetting to hear. What did you say? It's upsetting to hear. All right, on to Philip and Philly here. Uh, oh, my. Philly. There is quite a dissonance here in the uh, – Projections. Good gracious. What happened? 
Does Phil does Philly have people out? No. Um, no. It's so apparently Phillips projected to kill beat him. I mean, one twenty six, one oh eight projections. I mean, he's got Rodgers, he's got McCaffrey, he's got Chubb. Those are three. I mean, I think good to very good players. Uh, Chubb, I find completely overrated, and Hunt he's is the actually number one the running back right now. What'd you say? Nick Chubb's the number one running back right now. He completely certainly. overrated system running back. Hunt is the heart of that offense. I mean, you yeah. know. I don't he's know if we can have. Team. He's the heart of Cleveland. This the bias here is a little little strong, but um, I mean, I don't know why Philly's team is projected so low, though. I mean, his defense. I think it's because his. I, I don't love his receivers, man. Uh, yeah, his receivers are pretty mid. Marquise Brown. Renfro, Renfro almost lost. He Renfro did his best to lose Philly that game. Well, Man, I might maybe I could finagle McCaffrey I mean, he out lost of Philly. The Raiders the game, yeah. yeah. What'd you say, Blake? Sorry. Maybe I could finagle McCaffrey out of Philly. I thought about trying to do it earlier today, but I I did text him before this week and I was trying to make a trade. And I was gonna trade him Mike Williams. And thank God Williams. he told me no. This is a good private uh, group to discuss trades, you know. So yeah, for sure. So let's see. How are we going to fuck Philly out of Christian McCaffrey? Well, see, it tests who actually watches the entire podcast. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was not going to try to fuck Philly out of it. I was going to try to offer him a fair trade. Yeah, I mean, I was going to try to offer him a fair trade, but I want to win. I couldn't come up with something that worked well. Especially since my whole team looks like absolute dog shit right now. So, Yeah, yeah you Caleb, need to do something, Caleb. You, what you need to do, Caleb, I think, is make a big trade and then kind of sort out the big guy and then get a few mid-tier guys. I'm just going to win this week against you and everything will be okay then. So... Philip might have one of the better, like higher scoring teams in the league. He he has a really strong team. Yeah, Philip's team is a little scary. I don't Jeff Wilson though, I don't really He's the only running back left standing in San Francisco right now though. <laughs> Debo that's right. Debo is also left standing. Yeah, but I mean the only true running back. Like <laughs> the, um, the other two are both hurt. The Pittsburgh defense. I don't really like this year very much. Matt Gay. I mean, they were good week one. Gay. Did you just skip over his whole team and go to his kicker and his defense? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Is good. The fact that he has A.J. Brown, who's uh, the 14th best receiver right now, and Jalen Waddle, who's the fifth best receiver right now, and Mark Andrews, who's the number two tight end. You just skipped right over that. No, fuck all that. He has Jeff Wilson – the Steelers defense and Matt. <laughs> and Matt hey. this, is, this is ridiculous. This is I, I wouldn't watch this show. Uh, in all reality, Phillips team. This is, is a candy ass podcast. <laughs> Phillips team is kind of scary. If yeah, Waddle, I mean, is. but like, I mean, defenses are going to kind of learn how to play with Waddle. Like, they're going to know. Um, I guess, I mean, maybe not, because they have to defend Tyreek Hill also. Yeah, that's what, like, well, I, I don't know how you defend both of them. That's exactly, you can't defend those two receivers. It is. Uh, judging, uh, I'm not overreacting because it's only the third week, but it's literally impossible to guard these guys. They do play Buffalo. Buffalo's a good defense, but that's still. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> it's going to be a scary game. Hopefully a shootout. Hopefully for me, a shootout. I mean, I've got to go with the projections here. Philip t- gets my vote. Yeah, I would uh, also go with Philip. Sorry, Philly. The one, the better Phil this week is Philip. I gotta say, I'm really hoping I get Philip on this. Okay, I get Philip. Philip is so unanimous. It's a unanimous vote. Unanimous. 
That probably um, means Philly's going to win. Probably. But, hey, we aren't hurt if we all lose, you know? Yeah. Yeah. If we all lose, then no one loses. Um, okay. Uh, on to Ethan and Travis's game. A very the closely presented game. I'm looking at Ethan's team. Aaron Jones and Cooper Cup are the two on his team that really scare me. They are carrying him. I also will say, you know, a little bit of a homer statement, but Damian Harris has been doing pretty solid. He has. Uh, didn't he get hurt, I thought? Or am I, did I make nope. that up? You made that up. He is still healthy right now. Yeah, I mean, that he does have a lot of points. He's literally the 18th ranked running back. I think any top 20 <laughs> running back's good. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, Josh Jacobs, 33. I mean, who's the number one wide right receiver right now? Is it Tyreek? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Can look real quick. Because uh, Cooper Cup's two. Stephon Diggs had, like, three touchdowns last night. Okay, so. I, it's got to be Stephon. And then Tyreek's got to be three. Uh, give, me, give me two seconds. Keep talking. I'll bring it back to you. Um, <clears throat> let's see, looking at, tra- I mean, Travis's team, I didn't think it'd be that good, but he's putting together some good games. I'm on Rob St. Brown's keeping him alive. He's got Drake London in his flex and he had a huge game last week. Uh, yeah, but Bengals, Bengals defense against the Jets and elite, elite quarterback, Joe Flacco. Stefan is number one, by the way. He is currently averaging 35 points a game. That's actually stupid. Yeah, yeah it makes me sick to my stomach. 24. It also makes me sick to my stomach that Austin has him. That's just. Don't say You can't do it three times, man. <laughs> you can't do it three times. That, that would be a makes... third win. Oh, my gosh. No, I'm not talking about wins. Worst. <laughs> He's the worst guy I know. Oh no. Uh Ethan is two and zero, by the way, so I would love to see him lose. But his I think his team overall looks a little bit more put together. Cam Akers on um Travis's team is very scary because week one he literally touched the ball three times and week two he did it okay ish. Also, Arizona has a, a pretty good defense. They I do say. So um I will say Travis's team like his receivers are pretty solid. Amon Ross St. Brown's good. Keenan Allen's a PPR monster if he plays. If he plays. Uh, Drake London, I mean, like, I, I don't know what to think about him, but he had freaking a lot of points last week, 24 and 12 the first week. I'd be happy with both of those in my flex, 12 and 24. But yeah, if he switches yeah, defense I just, out, I will be confident saying Travis. I think I think it's not even going to be close. I think Ethan's going to kill him. Hold on, I sorry. Flip the coin. Oh, he's picking Travis, ain't he? Travis by five thousand points. Travis, it's not even going to be close. Ethan's team is. Dog shit. Travis's is one of the best teams in the league. Blake, who you very taking? underrated 0-2. I'm also so. on the Travis train this week. I just think he has more stability. The the upset alert here? Jesus. No, I'm taking Ethan. There was never any doubt. Travis was going to win this before the schedule even came out. Before we even drafted, Travis is going to win this game. Sadly, I just don't believe it. I think Ethan's taking the dub. His team's overall better. Um, I don't think I believe it either, Caleb. What we got? We got one more, right? Uno Moss. Let's let's roll into it. Uh, Nellis and Quan. Quan and Nellis. A close projection here. Uh, let's look through here. I mean, looking at Quan's team, James Winston dicked him last week. He had a great week one, not great week two, but I'm just saying Michael Thomas might be the steal of the draft. Really? Agreed. 
hard agree. I mean, yeah, he's doing pretty good. Um, Michael Thomas, this the best pick in round six, as I called it. Mm. It's pretty strong, pretty good. It's still just <clears throat> over. Oh, give me a sec. Uh oh. Anyway, here as he rudely leaves us. Um, I do, however, on Nell's team, love me some Justin Herbert, but that man got his guts. Justin Herbert might not even play. His guts were busted. This is the jankiest show ever. What are we talking about? Justin Herbert getting his guts busted. Yes. Yeah, he's he's hurt. He's he can't throw a pass right now. Jameis Winston, he's due for a good game. I think so. He's due. Monster I game. I'm still not ready to get off the Miles Sanders hate train. No, never. Never getting off that train. Quan does have Justin Jefferson. That man is a walking 40 pointer. <clears throat> Potential. Yeah, just, Justin Jefferson. Detroit. Off defense, eh, but their offense is explosive, so that might be a shootout right there. I mean, I'm looking down Quan's team, and I mean, like, he's got a solid floor team, which I I like having a solid floor team. But uh, oh, look at this! The Ravens play New England. New England has now that. Now that Trey Lance is hurt, New England might have the worst starting quarterback in the league. So that's hurtful. I said it to hurt you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm looking I don't at even know how to take that. <laughs> You're telling me you think Mac Jones is worse, or I'm sorry, better than Trey Lance. And you're telling me that you think Mac Jones is the worst quarterback in the league, all in one statement. That was well thought out. That was well thought out. Mac Jones hasn't really performed like I expected this year, that's for he sure. He is uh, one for one on going to the playoffs in his career. Just side note. That What's was his record year? in the playoffs? Zero uh, and one against the Buffalo Bills. <laughs> Well, he's about to get stomped by Lamar, let me tell you. I said it earlier. I'm telling you, that game's going to be closer. I'm not saying we're going to win, but it's going to be a lower-scoring, closer game. I hope not, for my team's sake. I'm sick of your homer takes, dude. I'm trying to be objective here, and this is just getting ridiculous. I am being very objective. The Patriots, are, since Brady has left, tend to play very low-scoring games. They're defensive monsters. I haven't said a single thing about the Broncos. I don't know what to say about the Broncos. I haven't haven't said anything. I've been very objective. I think they're going to win conservatively by like 35 points. Fair enough. Who do they even play this week? San Francisco? Another low-scoring game, objectively saying. Easy dub. Easy dub. Broncos country, let's ride. Oh, God. Hell, yeah. Broncos country. Let's ride. Anyway, uh, Nellis' team, Jonathan Taylor, Saquon, Travis Kelsey, the best kicker in the league, Justin Tucker. Actually, I take it back. Graham Gano is the best kicker in the league. (laughs) Shut your dirty mouth. Right behind... The Broncos kicker, McMahon. Garrett will back me up here. Graham Gano is the best player on the Giants team. That doesn't make him the best kicker in the league. Best kicker, best player on the Giants team. Justin Tucker is like the best kicker in NFL history. Look it up. I do some research. You're a Patriots fan and you're not saying Vinatieri. No, Goskowski? Justin Tucker That's has a higher percentage. Vinatieri was just on better teams, and Vinatieri's an amazing kicker, but he was on better teams. He's Making the most him. clutch. He's the most clutch athlete to ever walk the face of this earth. I, I said it here first. I said it here. My mouse is hovering over the mute button, Caleb. Uh, uh, 
I mean, I, I know I'm right. You can meet me all you want. What? Whatever. I just listen here. Graham Gano is the Giants' best player. Hot take, but the truth. That man scores all of our saying, points. Saying he's the world, he's the Giants' best player is like saying he's the world's tallest midget. Like it's not really saying anything. The Giants don't have any good players. Well, at least our teams are in similar situations. <laughs> You're two and two and zero. Oh, I'm one and one. Thanks to Graham Gano, we're two and zero. Oh. Anyway. I diverge. Uh, Not to beat a dead herd, a dead horse, but um, just looked it up. Highest field goal percentage all time. Justin Tucker, number one, ninety one percent. Um, how many points does he have? I, that's not what I'm looking at. I'm looking at percentage. What's his record in the playoffs? How many game winners does he have? He's a kicker. He doesn't control that. And he has in multiple the playoffs. He in also played the longest kick in ever in against the Raiders to go to the Super Bowl. I don't even. I'm I'm scrolling. I'm looking for your boy. I'm oh, for oh no. Oh, there we go. Vinatieri is number twenty nine in the history of the NFL. Well, he played when he was like eighty four years old, and they were making they were dragging him out that was there. His decision. Lifeless. Do you, do you guys want to hear a stat? Take a guess, top 25, where Justin Tucker is in scores overall. He's 25. Not even there. Exactly. He's not played that long. He's only been in this, the league for 10 years. Therefore, oh. he can't be the greatest. Oh, if Brooks. He, if he plays hey. as long as Vinatieri Sniper? did, Sniper? he'll <laughs> by far. I'm going to say exactly what you said with all those Brady Manning things. Rings, baby. Rings. How many hey, rings does Justin hey, Tucker you have? Know, that's a good How fact. How many rings that's does Justin fact. Tucker have? That's a good fact. Just saying George Blanda was a kicker and a quarterback. That's crazy. Best player of all time? He is seventh overall in most points scored kicker-wise. Cool. The, Fun moving fact. On from, moving on from this whole discussion. <laughs> Way off topic. We're, what were we talking about? We were looking at uh, Nellis' team over here. I think I'm going to go with... I just don't know. I This is a tough one because I like yeah. Jonathan Taylor, I like Saquon, and I like Travis Kelsey, but that's about... I like Justin Herbert if he plays, but he's probably going to be at a certain percentage of snaps. I, I'm going to take I'm going to take Quan only because I, if Herbert I don't think he's going to play. Even if he does, he's not fully healthy, which means he's going to have to start Derek Carr. I don't have as much faith in Derek Carr, obviously. So I uh, my heart. Quan. My heart is saying, Quan, let's see what the numbers tell me. Quan it is. Quan by a mile. Quan. Um, All right, here's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say what, Nellis. What good things can be said about Chris? Nellis gets my vote, but if Justin Herbert doesn't play, my vote goes to Quan. No, no asterisks. You Boom. pick somebody right now. Boom. It's Stick Tuesday, with your guns. September 20th at 9-16. Fuck Who it. Pick? James Winston's going to have a big game. He's coming back. Michael Thomas going to have a big game. Quan by a million. All right. That's what's up. That's a respectable option. Actually, That's Justin it. Jefferson by a million. I forget. He's on his team. Yeah, after seeing the Colts play, now that I'm, now that I'm taking a look back, the Colts looked abysmal against a bad – Jacksonville team. Yeah, they did. Goose egg. And Darnell Mooney, the Bears just are the Bears. <sighs> Eleven passes last week. There's just there's a okay, yeah. Now that I'm taking another glance, there's a lot more upside to Quan's team this week. Michael Thomas steal the draft, Brooks. Ravens defense against New England. 
hey, they will have a very solid week. They'll probably have at least one, maybe two interceptions. I mean, let's be real. It's going to be low scoring, like I said. But that defense is a good defense this week. Yeah, I will say if Nellis can get a healthy Chris Godwin back in there, his team will be different. If I know Quan loves J.K. Dobbins, but man, I just I wouldn't want to plug him in if he's healthy, to be honest. Well, Not this, a, well, he hasn't played yet, right? No, no, yeah. I don't I know when the last time he has played is. Game one of last year, if that, they even maybe made, I think he, he might have got hurt preseason. Years. Yeah, I wouldn't play him even if he was healthy just because it's been too long. And, I mean, Quan's team doesn't – well, I mean, maybe over Miles Sanders, but I'm just waiting. That guy's going to drop off so hard. I'm just waiting for it. Okay, well, it uh, looks like we all have some pretty – we're pretty agreeable here. Um, I definitely – the first three matchups I'm differing from you guys, but that's all right. I think I picked – the same as Caleb almost every time. Yes, yeah, I think we did. Except for I think one. after I talked a lot of shit about how terrible you guys were. Yeah, I left it to chance though. I don't um, recall any of that. Well, with the uh, projections out of the way, you guys want to? I know it's a little late, but we could check out the waiver wire pickups. I don't really know that really matter. I haven't looked at it very much. Honestly, let's, let's take a gander here. I, I wish we could uh, make this on a Wednesday, like a quick waiver wire video, but. Well, somebody's got d d They're busy days. Busy days indeed. All okay, right. Pull it up. September 15th. Is that? No, wait, it'd be the 14th, wouldn't it? Jeez, there's a lot. Yeah. A lot of people added a lot of stuff. I'm just going off. I'm starting with you adding the Browns and dropping the Broncos. That was a mistake, looking back. Yeah, I don't know why you did that. Well, I mean, the Browns are playing the uh, Jets, I think. Yeah. Didn't matter, still won, but... There's nothing, no crazy transactions. I mean, there's a $14 coin picked up. Rex Burkhead for 14 bucks. I like Rex. I think he's good. Did only get two points, so to be determined. Um, Philly spent $15 on a kicker. Can we talk about that for a second? That makes me feel better about my purchase. So He yeah. added Cade York, Cleveland kicker, and dropped... Dustin Hopkins, Chargers kicker, for $15. And Dustin Hopkins outscored the kicker by one point. What a waste of $15. Well, you want to talk about a waste. Let's scroll up one more. Oh, yeah. This is the best one. I forgot. What a, What an idiot to even bid on Taysom Hill. That's just – can you – who would even want to bid on him? Garrett, how much did you bid on him? I bid $22 <laughs> on Taysom Hill. <laughs> But that's neither here nor there, is it? But that's here. Twenty-four? That's insane. Twenty-two? That's that's responsible. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I just coughed right in the mic. I was trying not to do that, but I just want to double check because I think we were talking about this last week, Blake. Didn't you have like a ridiculous amount placed on him, and I convinced you that that was way too much? Yeah, I, you talked me off a cliff, Caleb. I saved about twenty six dollars. Yeah, I think Blake had like fifty bucks <laughs> on Taysom Hill. The and man got like, he got one point. Yeah, well, <laughs> you only wasted twenty four dollars now instead. No, no, I got one more point than I would have had I started my tight end. Uh, yeah, Blake was like, "I'm bidding." He, he, it was funny because he was like acting like it was a big secret too. He was like. <laughs> I'm bidding on someone, but I don't know if I want to tell you. And I'm like, dude, I'm not bidding on anybody. Like, what are you doing? He's like, put 50 on Taysom. And I was like, boy, that is worth it. <laughs> it. You know, it could have been. It could have been. So how much did Taysom score this week, Blake? Uh, one. <laughs> I would like to say Trey Lance outscored Taysom. Well, he's a quarterback, so he should. But Yeah. 
You know, Caleb, it's really hard for me to talk shit about Trey Lance because you did talk him up. You named your team after him. But I did the same thing with Alvin Kamara, and I took him in the first round. Yeah. <laughs> that was yeah. kind of stupid. But, uh, it does. Hey, hey, week three, baby. Week three. You know what really sucks is look scrolling up to Grayson dropping Tua for Robbie Gold. Wow. Where's that at? Uh, the 15th. Thursday. Wow. CTC's elf boy. Uh-oh. That was a mistake. Looks like I'm yeah, he's not getting him back. Tua. That's for sure. Okay, I do, Caleb, Caleb. How much you dropping on Tua? Because I'm going to outbid you. Everything I have. Okay. Caleb, well, the uh, I have not. I have two hundred dollars. <laughs> I don't have two hundred dollars. I think I have like one ninety nine. Well, I okay. Two hundred dollars on Tua. Um, actually, I don't know if I'm allowed to add any more QBs because I have three already. I might live trade with Philly here. Are you going to send him a trade offer? Just might have to. What if we all three send him a trade at once? I, I don't want a single piece of that team. I that want Christian McCaffrey. Know his team. Oh, McCaff? That's probably all I'd be interested in. But who is he? Oh, for the love of the chocolate. Oh, this See, chocolate starfish, sorry. I could give him Cordero. they give him another starting running back. I'm looking through his I'm looking through what he needs. Cordero's not a starting running back. That's where you're wrong. Wait a minute. I think he is. Is Philly saying that he likes to eat ass? <laughs> Whoa. He most do not certainly know. is. That can't be. No. There's lots of names that I need explanations on, and if that's the explanation behind that, I'm shocked. All right. I'm Wait sending Philly. I just sent Philly a trade offer, and I'm going to move my wide receivers around to make it look more enticing. <laughs> Good luck, dude. You trying to give me a nap? Offered him right? for Daryl and Brandon Ayuk for Christian McCaffrey. Oh, I would turn that down in a heartbeat. Oh I would hope God. so, but I'm just saying McCaffrey's only gotten 15 points. See, that's, that's such a – he's still Christian McCaffrey, though. He would go for 35 any given week. He could get hurt next week. So and, could Cordell. Yeah, but then you got Brandon Ayuk, who I think is going to also be good. Or could get hurt next week. Brandon Ayuk's made of less class than Cordero and Christian. I would turn that down in a heartbeat, personally. Philly, don't take it. <clears throat> Trade with me instead. Man, Caleb, I think you just don't understand the greatness that is being offered. Are we done? Is this is this over? Caleb, I just sent you a trade offer. I'm denying it. I almost guarantee it. If it's, it's got a Cordell great Patterson, offer. If it's got Cordell Patterson in it. I mean, I don't even know how to pull this stuff up on freaking. Hold on. Hold on, Blake. I'm going to mute Caleb real quick. Hey, Blake, don't tell Caleb, but I'm going to I'm going to fuck him gonna... with this trade. Okay, I'm unmuting Caleb. Caleb, hey, you want to make a trade real quick? The trade I just got offered from Blake. I was not muted at all, by the way. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I can still hear you. But you just get out I'm supposed to here. yes and me. I'm, I'm trying some improv. Yes and, yes and. I can't mute mute shit. I don't even think I can mute myself on here. Why does it auto select? Oh my god! Have you ever tried to accept a trade on here? No. So automatically it, it clicks accept. When you click decline, it drops and it says deal breakers. Which players are causing you to decline this trade offer? So I can select Cordell. And Ayuk, and I can add comments. I think this is ass. <laughs> Absolute trash. Garbage cans. Yeah, I would not expect anyone to take that trade, but some people might be desperate for a wide receiver. For the listeners who are still winning, I just want to. All right, to it's time to end it. I just want to hear that. Although that's that whole game last week, like I said, I'm, I'm just throwing away. 
obviously Trey is probably going to throw about six touchdowns this week. So if Debo will catch one or two. Who would say that? Who would say that Trey Lance would throw six touchdowns? Does he even have six touchdowns in his career? In all seriousness, I was talking to Michelle about this earlier that – I mean, obviously, I hate the Trey Lance injury because I had him as my quarterback, but it really sucks for him because he's not going to get another chance in the NFL, I don't think. No, I, I'm with you. I think no. he's out. I think he's done. Yeah. which he. I'm not saying he was going to be like a great quarterback or even a long-time starter, but he has like no shot now, I don't think. Well, I, like, I mean, he's he's not going to be back to what next year? And yeah. he's never been good for the, what, six games he's played? I wouldn't say – well, never been good is kind of – he's never had a great, like, showing. But he's only played six games in the NFL. Like, It's it's like RG3, you know, where he just never made it back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah boys. Uh, I think – with that, we can call it a call it a day. Some good some good discussions. I'm just shooting trades out left and right while we're finishing out. It'll be yeah. in the video. But uh, Garrett, thank you for joining us. Yeah, thank, thank you for the first guest. I guess we'll have you on for the recap next week, right? Thank you for having me. It was a, it was a wonderful wonderful experience. Uh, Caleb, your team is trash. Blake, fuck you for picking against me both uh, both the previous weeks. I hate you both. You're both the worst people I've ever met in my entire life. And uh, see you next week. I can't wait. Uh, too bad Garrett was muted for that whole thing. I heard him, but <laughs> all right. Till the next one, boys.